Okay, next thing we got is the uh, Holly 300-291. It's a LS3 style uh, 4150 flanged race intake. It's a split design. So in the center, it's bolted together. You can see the little O-ring or gasket right there. So you can split this into two halves and port everything, which is, is cool. But what I don't like, they drilled for vacuum, I guess, here and here and here. But they drilled here and machined it, but they got into the runners with it. So like the intake guys will know whether that affects a lot but there's also some horrible casting blemishes right here like you can catch that with your finger it needs addressed so i'm going to clean that up um it uses an o-ring style gasket which is cool except for they suck because they're all oversized I wish it would have used a stock style Felpro gasket. The Some of the older intakes use that, but I mean, it, it's just the Holly stuff. Like it, it comes with bolts. It's the intake I've wanted. It's got all the instructions on um, your part numbers for your bolts, your part number for your gasket when you take it apart torquing them um, your usual holly packaging but cool intake i like it uh, its rpm range is a little lower than i wanted but like i said i'm building more of a everyday ls3 type build it's it's nothing special so i didn't need something that would turn 8500 because that's not what i'm doing I just need a little more than what that little thing can do. And I had parts laying around. Um, I've got spare engines laying around. So this is another cool part. I mean, it's, it's super, super, super heavy is the big drawback. But, um, I mean, the casting is literally probably three-eighths of an inch thick, if not a little thicker, through the entire intake. So you can do a lot of work to it, but quality piece. Um, it's specifically what I wanted. It's close to 550 or 600 also. I mean, everything is five or $600. Every single thing I have bought for this engine is five or $600 if it's not inside of it. So this quality piece as usual. Thanks for checking it out.